Hi guys, it's Emily from Hopscotch Interactive and I am following up to the video that I posted last month, which is how to shoot uh, Zillow 3D tours and floor plans like a pro. And I wanted to follow up because I have a feeling that otherwise you would watch that video and then go to try and make a floor plan and it wouldn't work. And that's because actually what has happened in the last few days is that as of April 11th, uh, Zillow has taken the floor plan feature offline because they were inundated with requests for floor plans. And as you all know, in the real estate industry, it's just simply not okay for um, a floor plan or you go in to do a tour and then you don't get a floor plan, not a few days later, but a week later or two weeks later. So um, they decided that they needed to work on the infrastructure. So they'll be coming back with that in the early summer. Uh, we're not sure exactly when. Um, and then another thing is that the floor plan um, feature was not available to everyone. And so um, you now need to make sure you go in and you sign up and get on that wait list um, so that when it does come back online and they have been able to reduce the time to delivering the floor plans back down to like one to three days, um, that you'll be in line to have access to that feature. Uh, so, so that's, let's get that out of the way because I think that that might have been a big question for everyone, especially if they're trying to make floor plans and they're downloading the app and they're looking at the app and they're like, I can't find this. And so you're, you're absolutely right. It is not there right now. And so, um, my apologies about that. Um, I didn't know that that was going to happen. Um, and then the other thing that you should know is that you can still use the app. So the Z Zillow 3D home tour app is still really good for that boost, that seven day boost, uh, on your tours and on your properties. Um, and so you can still create the regular tour. Uh, but one of the things that also happened in the last few weeks is that there was an update to the app. And so instead of us taking our, um, you know, we would go in and we would create a new pano and we would name it first and then we would take the pano, but then they were just sort of organized all in one kind of group together. Um, and there was interior and exterior labels and custom. Uh, that has been changed. They did away with that and they did an update to the app so that instead you take your pano, you select its location, and then once you are grouping your uh, panos by location or by room, uh, so if you're in the living room, you maybe are taking two panos or three panos, you take the first one, you label it living room, and then every subsequent pano in that location is then in that same set, which is gonna help us a lot when we get back to the floor plan creation because the annotation will have already sort of grouped these locations together and that's gonna be a big benefit to you. So um, I wanted to say just on those three things, um, please get on the wait list so that uh, you can get it when it's back online. Please, um, you know, use the use the tours even though you are you can't use it for floor plans because it's still a great tour. Um, and then, you know, I would say also um, that the upgrades to the app might take a little bit of getting used to, but it's worth it to become familiar with the new tools. And um, certainly last but not least, um, if you need to make floor plans, and that's what brought you to the video, um, I would say that my, my current recommendation would be for you to check out um, using a Matterport system, um, either using that um, with a Pro 2 camera, which is what I use, or you can also um, look at potentially using their the iPad for capture or a 360 camera, um, such as the Insta360 um, One X2, uh, or you can uh, look at the iGuide system, which is compatible with the Ricoh Theta Z1. And Ricoh Theta Z1 has two versions. They have the original, and they just came out with another one, which has one difference, which is more storage capacity, which doesn't matter for iGuide because iGuide stores the data, I believe, on a thumb drive, which is um, connected to the camera system. So um, that would be what I would be looking into. There's probably other apps you can use for floor plans. Um, certainly, if you know of any, post them in the comments. Um, like and subscribe and let us know if you have any questions. And I hope that the tour um, tutorial that I did for you was helpful anyway. 
and I will certainly be the first to let you know once this is back online, um, once Zillow makes an announcement about when we will have these floor plans again. Um, keep building your skills. Thanks so much. And uh, yeah, let me know if you have any questions.